Hello, members of the King County Employee Giving Program. We want to introduce you to Project Seawolf Coastal Protection. We are a all-volunteer group. Our KCEGP number is 9476. And we've been part of the King County Employee Giving Program since 2015. So this is a little bit about our organization. Project Seawolf is unique in a way that we are made up of 100% volunteers. None of our staff or advisors or any of our support people receive any salary whatsoever. And 95 to 99% of all donations made to our organization are put directly into our field program. So we've got very little overhead and we are very lean in our operation. We've been around since 1997 in the Puget Sound and we started way back with an effort to try to gain the southern resident orca whale population a federal endangered species status. So we were the group that built the consortium and pushed for that to happen. And about a year later, we actually focused on getting state endangered status for the southern resident orca whale population. But probably one of our biggest campaign initiatives was back in 2003, we were the group that was among the first few folks that noticed that we had an orphan orca whale from the northern residents here in the Puget Sound. And we initiated a coalition effort to capture rehabilitate and release her back up in British Columbia to her matrilineal family. And we're proud to say that that was probably one of the biggest advances in orca whale recovery and rescue that have been done in the history of our operations. And right now, Springer is back up there in BC. She's a wild orca and she's even got two calves of her own. So we're proud of what we've been able to accomplish as a very small lean operating group here in this region. One of the things that sets us apart from a lot of other groups is that we have a bunch of very specialized talent within our volunteer base. We also have a number of very specialized items and equipment that even the federal government may not have access to. So we support the National Marine Fisheries Service. We support regional veterinarians, researchers, biologists, educational facilities with items like large vessels, distinct craft like hovercraft and small stabie craft as well as mini pontoon boats that allow us to get very close to whales without endangering them due to the props or other machinery involved. And we help out and provide these vessel platforms to the researchers, even the federal government, for free, basically for the operating costs. Our mandate is not as much to kind of make a big deal about our own operations as it is to support the existing research and government agencies in the region. That's one of the big things that we try to do with our vessels and the resources and the skills that we have and that we can bring to the table. About two decades ago, we realized that another way to accomplish our mission was to try to encourage students to get involved in the marine sciences or in ecology. And so one of the things that we've been doing over the years is we have been sourcing opportunities through our own donors or through our own fundraising to try to get students out on free trips, environmental workshops, field expeditions, field activities where they can learn about ecology. We've had some pretty innovative trips up to the San Juan Islands focusing on getting the kids into the water, paddling, actually doing field interpretive workshops while we're floating a current We've brought in lecturers at the labs at Friday Harbor. We've teamed up with a lot of different organizations to try to make this happen. And it's been incredible. It really has opened the doors to a lot of traditional and non-traditional students. So we focus a lot on minority and disadvantaged students as well to try to give them these opportunities to help other people learn about how to build a career in marine ecology, sciences, or wildlife preservation. So that's been another thing that Project Seawolf has been focusing on over the years. So a number of years ago, we also started a salmon-friendly lawn sign campaign. And this was kind of an innovative idea in which we gave away free polytag six inch by nine inch signs that said salmon-friendly lawn, no pesticides, no herbicides, no toxic gardening chemicals, and we generated neighborhood discussion about non-point pollution and how that impacted salmon habitat. This has been a remarkable campaign. In fact, we've been approached by organizations from Hawaii, from the Hudson River in New York, from the Colorado Rockies to emulate our campaign. We provided the free artwork and hints about how we've circulated our signs. And we're proud to say that in about 20 years of this campaign, 
we have distributed over 23,000 of these free signs throughout the Puget Sound region. And we're hoping to expand that again this year with another partnership with a few other local groups to continue to put out another 10,000 signs. Earlier, I talked a little bit about Springer. She was an orphaned northern resident orca whale, a calf that appeared here in the Puget Sound in 2003. Our group were one of the first groups to discover her, and we worked with the National Marine Fisheries Service and eventually built a consortium that ultimately ended up giving us the chance to capture her, rehabilitate her for a short period of time to give her some additional food, and then find her family, her matrilineal pod, where her grandmother still survived up in northern British Columbia, and we ultimately released her back into her family pod about a month later. And this was remarkable because it was the first successful effort to reintroduce a wild killer whale after it was stranded back to her native population. And we're proud to say that Springer today is a mother of her own. She has two of her own calves and she's successfully reintegrated into her wild family. And she has nothing to do with humans up there and she's still living and thriving up in British Columbia waters. Another one of our remarkable successes that we've been doing for almost 20 years now is our student-led tree planting campaigns, which we've been doing every April now with a number of different groups and partners that we've built upon. So this is happening a lot in North King County and South Snohomish County as well. And essentially what we do each year is we source anywhere between eight to 10,000 native tree seedlings. And we bring students, a lot of them grade three and four students into the field and they volunteer and plant these trees. We have, since this campaign started, probably planted in excess of 35,000 native trees into our Puget Sound native habitat. So that's been an incredible success for restoring salmon habitat, creating a cleaner environment, and contributing a lot more oxygen into the environment as well. So this is one campaign that really gives kids a chance to get hands-on civics lessons, as well as environmental stewardship in the field. And we work with a number of schools in order to make this happen. So we're really proud of this particular campaign. A core of our operations is our marine wildlife stranding response and our marine patrols. I mentioned earlier that we have specialized equipment, some very specialized boats, craft, that kind of thing. And we get into the field as much as we can in the summer months and even in the shoulder season as well to help document whales coming in. If there's a report of a stranding or an entanglement, we are out there videotaping, helping prepare for intervention by the Marine Fisheries Service or any of the responding veterinarians or groups that have the um, legal ability to get out there with us to help rescue whales and dolphins and sea lions and just about any other species that might be in distress. So it's all part of our field ethic, our field patrols. We want to be out there. We want to be able to help document and rescue animals whenever we get the chance to. So that's still the core of our operation during the shoulder season. And occasionally we're even equipped to go out in the winter if there is a stranding that's reported at that time. So again, we are Project Seawolf Coastal Protection. Again, 100% volunteer. We very much value the King County Employee Giving Program support that we've received over the years. Our number is 9476. And feel free to visit our website at www.projectseawolf.org for more information about what we do and what we're currently up to. So thanks very much for your attention.